Good morning, everyone. The intentions this morning for Holy Mass for Carmel and the Redemptorists, for those recommended to our prayers, especially the sick and the dying. We pray for the peoples of India and uh, in Israel and Palestine. For the repose of the soul of her mini Gilda, Lorejo, who died recently, and for the souls in purgatory, and for peace in the world. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his own wonderful light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and peace. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose Son at his ascension to heaven was pleased to promise the Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant, we pray, that just as they received manifold gifts of heavenly teaching, so on us too may you bestow spiritual gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After spending some time in Antioch, Paul departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Now a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, well versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him and expounded to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wished to cross to Achaia, the brethren encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. When he arrived, he greatly helped those who through grace had believed, for he powerfully confuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are assembled. 
with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God, who is greatly exalted. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia. Alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory. Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father, he will give it to you in my name. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have said this to you in figures. The hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in figures, but tell you plainly of the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name. And I do not say to you that I shall ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and you have believed that I came from the Father. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> this is almost a summary of the whole gospel in this passage in John 16. I came from the Father and I am going back to the Father. Jesus is revealing his identity, his beginning and his end, his origin and his destiny. And what is so encouraging for us is that the destiny of Jesus from the Father from all eternity and going back to the Father from this world is that we too are from the Father. We too are going back to the Father. The Father is the meaning of our life, of all life. It means that we are never ever a stranger to God, that we are adopted into God. And that is why to ask is to receive. To seek is to find. And to knock is to have a door opened to us. Always in the name of Jesus. Whether we are aware of it or not. So our brothers and sisters of the Muslim faith at this moment, having prayed for a month, are also children of God. And so asking and praying is natural to us believers. We do it in Jesus' name explicitly so that our joy may be full. Therefore, the supreme sense of our lives is found in this text, that we have come from God 
and we are going to God. This partaking of the divine nature in our human limited way makes all the difference in our lives. The reality of God in us. The discovery of God in us means that we can never really be afraid. Because God loves us, as Jesus says. Jesus doesn't have to intercede for us. The Father wants to hear our prayer, to answer our prayer. And so love takes away fear and anxiety. Oh yes, there are things still on the surface of our lives that disturb us and upset us. But deep down where God is in our soul, then we are in God and God is in us. And so in these days before Pentecost, we pray that the Spirit will enlighten us to this revelation that Jesus makes about himself, but also about us and about the way in which God lives in us. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, 
by the practice of good works, that trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold ever fast to the Paschal mystery through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed. By the offering of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself, the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. <coughs> the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 Graciously sanctify these gifts. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We make our novena to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, send down those beams which sweetly flow in silent streams from your bright throne above. O God of the poor, O come, thou source of all our store, come fill our hearts with love. O thou of comforters the best, O thou the soul's delightful guest, the pilgrim's sweet relief. Blessed are you in our joy most sweet, refreshment from the noonday heat and solace in our grief. O blessed light of night you are, filled with your light in most heart. Of those that hope in you. Without your Godhead, nothing can have any price or worth in man. Nothing can harmless be. Lord, wash our sinful sins away. Water from heaven, our barren clay. Our wounds and bruises heal. To your sweet yoke, our stiffness bow. Warm with love our hearts of snow, our feet recall. Grant to your faithful, dearest Lord, whose only hope is in your word, your sinful gift, Grant us in life your grace that we, in peace and die and ever be, in joy before your face. Amen. The charity of God is poured in our hearts, His Spirit, who dwells in us. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.